Alright, welcome to Grateful Eight. No, I am not Jeremy. But when we work in our shop, we have a bundle of Jeremy shirts. I don't know where we got them, I can't even remember. But all of them say Jeremy on them. So, Jeremy, if you're out there, thank you. Yeah, we use them for our shop, our shop clothes. We'll go ahead and throw on your Jeremy shirt. I'm already jeremy out. And today we're going to show you guys how we made the cane for Ed on Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Do me a favor? Absolutely. Number is 129. I can get that for Ed. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but we'll link it. And we're going to show you today how we made the canes. And that's the cane I use. Uh, pretty much every day I have a couple of them because you leave them around and forget them and so I got quite a few but my uh, cue ball or eight ball billiard cane is my go-to one I use all the time so come along with us we're gonna record it first things first here are our supplies what'd you say to me woman you're a realist <laughs> So here's our supplies. We got a couple balls left. As you can tell, I made one for my buddy. It didn't work out too well. And then a uh, drill bit kind of wobbled around me on that one. So it's not always a perfect science, but we're gonna give her the best. I use a two different Whirly Giggers. These are my like uh, paddle drills, I think that's what they call them. Anyways, and then some JB Weld to, uh, to glue it all down. Got to be safe and got some ventilation, uh, whatever you call it. Keeps gas you, mask. Gas mask, there you go. No, no, I don't think it's a gas mask. Well, ca ca close enough. <laughs> so that's what we got. And then we got a drill. And you can use any cordless drill. Ours is a heart. They want to be a sponsor. <laughs> and here we go. So first thing, okay. this is our no pro camera. See, our no pro camera, it's just another phone on a hat. <laughs> and it works. But it works. That's right. It does what we need to do. Do this on you. Yeah, and hook it up. Yeah, good deal. There you go. Okay, we're gonna come over here and we'll take a little towel just so that our vice grip doesn't really mess up our ball. Okay, don't need to double that. All right, and what we wanna do is we're gonna take the nine part. There's two of them. One of them we're gonna have our hole go into and the other one will be the centerpiece of the top of the cane. The cane. We're gonna take our ball. Make sure you're watching that. Get the camera out there. You Take your ball, put it in your vice grip, or your vice, pinch, vice. Oh, I can't fuck. Tighten it down. Oh, well. Get this too tall. I had something that I set it on top of so it slide down. Get a spacer. There we go. Alright, put a spacer in there. Tighten it down. There we go. It's not going anywhere. Okay. And what we're going to do is put our. <laughs> okay, then that works. <laughs> our paddle drill and our cordless drill. The center point of our line here. Well, I mean, I and thought you were going to say you were going to punch me. You're going to punch it. Punch you? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. We'll use this. It's going to have to be like a hammer hammer. But... All right, we're going to center this as best as we can. Right in the center of that hole. Take our pole. Oh, oh it chipped it a little bit, but that's okay. A little brittle, I guess. Should be alright still. Alright, now come over here, Zach. 
I'm gonna do this part for me since uh, you're strong. Oh. All right, I'm gonna set this. Look right here, see where that dent is that I put in there? Yeah. I'm gonna set it right there, center as much as possible, and pull the trigger. I might get it going for you a little bit better. It looks like that chip didn't work out. Might make our hole a little wonky. Let's try that. Stick it in there. I'm gonna try to get it right in the hole. And the trick is you gotta push straight up and down. We don't want a crooked hole, right? Yeah. All right. So you're gonna put look your hand right here. There you go. And you're gonna push down on it. Pull the trigger. There you go. Pull it out. All right, let's see. Oh, wow, okay. I'm go ahead and loosen that up. Yeah. <laughs> see how we're a little off center? Yeah. That should still work. It's not going to be perfect, but so uh, you see, we got the hole drilled. It's probably. Uh, three quarters of an inch and it's not perfectly straight but we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, we already have some pole or pew, pew sticks that we've already cut they already are at size and so I'm just gonna match them up. This one's a little big actually and we'll see how that fits. I like them to be a little more snug but the uh, pole's a little cattywampus so it'll be okay. So it'll look something like that when it's done. All right, so we're gonna fill it with JB weld now. Okay. And then glue it on there. So the way this works, that's the hardener. That makes it get hard. Once we mix it up, and that's the steel. So we're gonna pour shop floor to help mix it up with. Oh, and JB Weld, they want to be a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and mixed. because we can clean that up when we're done. Scrape some more off. And come over here. And scrape some more off. And there we got a good base of JB weld in there. And then our cane handle. Stick her up 
upside down. Sticker upside down. Poke her down and let it ooze out a little bit. Take our oops. Take her knee off. Make sure it's not cuts and pieces and crevices. How do they play on the trampoline with the mm -hmm. Baby. I just watch all those girls be so weird. They're all smacking each other around. Mm -hmm. just like watching them like, what's wrong with those girls? <laughs> Alright, then we just gotta let that set up. Once that hardens, we'll be set. Um, How fast does it dry? It takes a couple of hours to, to get where we want it. So what we're gonna do though is we're gonna loosen it just a bit. And tip it to the side and let it lean against this wall. Like that. And then I gotta get make a pickaxe. Make a pickaxe out of those? Yes. I don't know how you do that. I'm gonna find a small pickaxe. <laughs> Land in my heel. Oh, I see what you're saying. I think you're gonna handle four pickaxes. Pickaxe out of those? Yes. I don't know how you do that. I'm gonna find a small pickaxe. <laughs> Right into my ear. I see what you're saying. Like they need a little handle for it. Because... Yeah, it's interesting. Oh. Okay. Make sure. As straight as possible. I think that's it. Now we just wait and let it sit. And once it hardens, we'll grind off anything and clean it up, polish it up, and we'll be done. Alright, so here's the waiting time for it. We just let her wait. Let the JB will dry up in there and solidify. And we'll come back when she's done. All right, guys. So I finished up with the canes. Um, they aren't perfect, and they're not supposed to be, but um, they work. And it won't come apart, and you'll be able to lean on it and carry your weight and do whatever you want. Um, these ones kind of got rushed, I guess. So I know they can be a little bit better, but. This is what I make for myself uh, whenever I need a cane. I like things that are unique and whatnot. And that's how I made the one I made for um, Ed on Matt's off-road recovery. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. And if you're interested in making your own or whatnot, you can do that. Also, we are going to have another giveaway. Ah, surprise. One of these canes, whichever one of you're choosing, I will be giving away to um, a random person once we hit 200 subscribers. So, if you're already subscribed, share and like this video and um, get some more subscribers because once we hit 200, we'll hit the uh, random drawing and I'll be giving this to one of the random people. So, um, like, share, subscribe, win a cane, go see Matt's Off-Road Recovery, give their channel some love, and be Great.